Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today it's day of new stitch. I will show you how you can make this beautiful stitch so easy and fast. It is so useful that I'm sure that in your coming projects you will use it and in so many of them. Imagine this stitch in a baby blanket or in a shawl or in a poncho if you want in the coming video i can show you how you can make a poncho using this stitch but please let me know here in the comments well before we start it's important that you subscribe okay and the best part of this stitch is that it's double view so you will have this view and in the back the view will be beautiful too but well let's start i will give you the step by step the secret of this stitch is that you have to make multiples of 12, okay? So in this case, like I'm making a sample, I will make 36 chains plus 5 chains for the edge. Also a secret to have a beautiful stitch is to make this stitch a little bit loose, okay? Since the base chains, try to make them a little bit loose. So for this sample, we are going to make 36 chains plus 5, okay? Also, as I told you, I know you always recommend if you are making a new stitch and if you are starting a new project, it is important that you make a sample like this one, okay? By making these squares, you will know exact how many chains you need for your project, okay? And also like this, you are going to calculate the size of the person that you are going to make this and you are going to use this stitch for. For example, if you are using this stitch to make a blanket, you will see the size of the blanket and you are going to calculate how many squares like this one and how many chains you will need to make to have the blanket that you need, okay? Uh, some of you have asked me how I calculate the stitches and this is the way how I do, okay? It's important also that the person that make this sample will make the full project too okay because each person crochet differently also it is important that you make the sample with the yarn that you are going to use for the whole project so like this you are going to have the exact stitches that you need but well i will continue well after the 41 chains i will count five and in the six i will turn over and I will insert a hook to make a double crochet. So we will take two and then the next two. Well, so this will be the corner of the beginning, this part, okay? Then we are going to go up with three chains, one, two, and three. Yarn over and insert a hook here, like leaning, taking these two stitches. Pull, yarn over, insert the hook in the same space, and pull, yarn over, we are going to leave all these stitches in hold, okay, in the hook. And yarn over three times, then yarn over, and we will skip two, and in the third, we will insert the hook. We are going to pull, again, yarn over. So we are going to leave all these stitches in hold. Also here in the same stitch, yarn over, we will repeat this three times, okay? And now we will skip two, and in the third, we will insert the hook and again as you could see before that we insert the hook we turn over so we will make this three times so here we have two and three as you could see we have all these stitches in hold we are going to bring them through and make one chain to close so here we have the three petals of the first part of the flower then one one two three chains and then in the center of the flower again we will pull and turn over three times in the same space we are going to bring them through and make one chain this is the fourth petal so we need four petals for the bottom of the stitch one two three and four then we will turn over we will skip two and in the third we are going to make a double crochet so take two and the last two so now this is the first part of the flower you see i suggest also for this stitch that you choose a yarn a little bit puffy okay so it will look beautiful too and we are going to make two chains we are going to skip two and in the third we are going to 
make a double crochet so we made the mesh now we are going to repeat again the four petals we will go up with three chains two and three we will turn over and insert the hook right here in this leaning part and we will insert the hook and turn over three times okay we will keep these stitches in hold we will skip two chains and in the third again we will insert the hook and we are going to make the second petal okay we are going to turn over and insert the hook three times leaving the last loops in hold turn over and skip two and in the third again make the third petal as you could see we are keeping all these stitches in hold in the hook so with the help with our fingers we are going to keep them there we are going to bring them through and make one chain okay so these are the first three petals now we are going to go up with three chains right in the center we are going to make the fourth petal we are going to repeat the same inserting the hook and turning over three times then bring them through make one chain then we are going to skip two chains and in the third we are going to insert the hook and make a double crochet then one two two chains we will skip two chains one two and in the third the next double crochet so here is the square and now we are going to repeat the flower and one square more and see you there so here I finished the first row turn around and we are always going to start with five chains three four and five then we are going to make double crochet over double crochet then we are going to turn over and now we are going to complete and make the last petal of the flower we are going to make two chains and right in the center turn over and again insert the hook and turn over three times then leave the last loops in hold bring them through and make one chain then two chains and again a petal right in the center we are going to insert the hook and turn over and pull three times bring them through and make one chain then one two chains and we are going to crochet double crochet over double crochet and like this is how we are going to complete the flower of six petals well then two chains we are going to make double crochet over double crochet and then as you could see let's make a review this row ha I mean this flower has six petals right so in the first row we made the first four and in the second row the next two okay so this is one series these two rows are one series well here let's make a review we are going to make one two chains and then we are going to go right to the center of the flower and make the fifth petal as you could see here these last two petals we are uh, closing them after we yarn over right in the first petals that we made the first three we keep them in hold and then the first three petals we keep them in hold and then we bring them through but here we are going to make each petal separately well then we are going to make a double crochet over double crochet with two chains between them and then again sorry here I'm having a little bit of trouble <laughs> so then we are going to go and make two chains and continue making the next two petals so I want to uh, make this row with you so you can see how it is and it will be useful as a reviewer right and here also between petals we are going to make two chains between well and as I told you we are making these two rows and these two rows are one series right so for the project that we want we are going to repeat as many series that we need according to the size and to the project that we are making right and remember 
that I like to show you the easiest way to make a stitch. So here in the next uh, series, in the second series, here we are supposed to make just the half of the flower, right? Because we are going to alternate the spaces for the flowers, but it will be more difficult. So I rather to leave the spaces making more mesh squares and then alternating the spaces of the flower. To me this is the easiest way but if you want you can make the half of the flower only. Like I like to show you the most simple way. Well I'm going to show you how. We are going to go up with five chains. We are going to complete the square then remember we are going to make double crochet over double crochet and here over the last petal we are going to make a double crochet then two chains and in the next petal again we are going to make right there a double crochet so here we are going to alternate the spaces with the flowers so now here are supposed to make the first part of the flower right the first four petals so here we are going to go up with three chains and here over the last double crochet that we made is where we are going to start the first petal. We are going to leave them in hold, then in the next double crochet we are going to insert the hook and make the second petal. As you could see, I'm leaving the petals in hold. The, all the threads are there in the hook. So here the third petal. And remember that these first three petals we are going to leave them in hold. As you could see, I insert the hook in the double crochet. We are going to bring them through and make one chain. Then we are going to make the fourth petal. So to make this, we are going to go up. Sorry, here I'm having. So we are going to go up with, let me take all the threads. Again, I'm going to close. Okay. We are going to go up with two chains and again in the center of the flower we are going to insert the hook and make the fourth petal we are going to bring them through make one chain and we are going to insert the hook at the beginning of the last flower and make right there a double crochet so again here we are going to alternate the mesh squares so here where we are supposed to make a flower we are going to make mesh to uh, alternate the spaces and I think it will look more beautiful so if you want you can make flower over flower but I think it will look um, more beautiful this way right so I'm going to review with you and again I'm going to make the first part of the flower remember that this is the first row of out of the two of one series so please be my company and finish this row with me so we can make it together and we can review okay remember that if you have any doubt you can leave me here in the comments as soon as i can read them i will answer back okay sometimes like i'm recording and then i need editing the video and a lot of things to do uh, sometimes it's difficult to answer all of them but uh, i promise that I read them, okay? Thank you so much for all your nice comment and your support. And every time I try to make better videos, if you have an idea, please let me know and send me through my email or Instagram or Facebook. I can see your idea there and if I can, I will make it, okay? Well, remember, like we started, we are going to finish the row, okay? See you in the next row and we are going to keep and respect where the flowers are because remember that in the next row we are going to repeat i'm sorry we are going to complete the flower so we are going to start the same making the mesh squares first and then we are going to complete the flower here with the last two petals well and here also i respect the mesh squares and i made the same that i made at the beginning of the last row so here we are going to complete uh, we are going to make two chains before and then the fifth petal, leave the last loops in hold, then bring them through, make one chain, then two chains between and again insert the hook right in the center and make the last petal. Then we are going to repeat, okay, we are going to make two chains and make a double crochet 
and we are going to respect the spaces and to complete the petals, okay? Remember that you are going to repeat as many series as you need according to the break that you are making this, uh, I'm sorry, that you are making this stitch for, right? Did I say it correct? <laughs> Sometimes I'm confused myself. But well, uh, we are going to alternate the spaces and the flowers. We are going to leave these spaces here. To me, it's easier instead of making just a half. As you could see, it has two views. So it, this stitch is perfect for a blanket, for a vest, for any project. It will look amazing because with these two views it's reversible so both sides will look beautiful. I suggest that you don't iron this stitch, that you leave it like this um, and it will be ready to wear. I hope that you make it and that you use it for all your projects. I'm sure you will love it. I hope that you like this video. It was a little bit quick but beautiful, right? I hope that it's very useful. And well, remember that before you go, it's important that you subscribe, that you give me a like, that you share this video if you like it, and please let me know if you have any other idea. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and remember I'm new in TikTok. See you soon, take care, and thanks for watching. Bye!